Gels, which is a bit of a change for Marcel. Lane Flack, what a nice fella. Absolutely diamond guy. Marcel, I'm just talking to some of the top pros wandering around this particular party. Where is poker going? You mix it with Hollywood stars, beautiful girls. It's unbelievable. Poker is finally going the right direction. This rabbit should go already for years. People didn't recognize it. They didn't want to know about it. Now to the television and the exposure and the online, people investing in the future because they, they're not stupid. They can see people having fun as they didn't have before. I mean, if you go to discos and pubs to drink only and sit there and feeling going out like this, or you're in a game with people who are having businesses, can have a decent conversation, look good, enjoy. It's, it's like entertainment. And if you're good in it, it's like chess. You're getting paid for it. It's great. The development is super. And it has been in the shell for so many years, like golf. I think it's going to be, it is already much bigger, but it's going to be so much bigger in the future. I know when you sit down at some of these events, especially in America, not so much in Europe, but in America, you sit down, you're a massive star. You're signing autographs for 15, 20 minutes. People want to take photographs with you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're not, you're not only right. just a star, we're but Marcel Lusk is actually a brand yeah, name now. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's hard. <laughs> I started uh, the flying. The so let me get in. Flying Dutchman, the best brand for poker. Keep it, keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've got three already, actually. She's my partner. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, she, so did, she did a great job. She did a lot of work. A lot of people I have to be grateful because the American audience is treating me with so much respect and giving me so much response. So it's great to be here, really. And uh, it's not a matter of money only, which helps, but they are uh, giving in to the fact that they appreciate what I'm doing. So it's great to get so much feedback. Yeah. It's really a great thing. Yeah, no, I, you know, there, there are a couple of big stars in the US. You got Phil Ivey, you got Phil Helmuth. But as I say, people want people flock around your tables to watch you play. And it's not so much not so much your play, people don't understand what you're doing most of the time, but it's your singing, your glasses. It's the whole thing that you give them a complete package, which is great. I uh, I have, have to surprise them because in the near future I will have different projects coming up like my DVD and in, even on the world. DVD available in most hardware stores soon. Yeah, the World Poker Store, I give them ad advice. Yeah. And they're based in Minnesota, they're going to be all over the country. And then I have my DVD coming out in two months. And it will be great fun. And I try, it took a little bit longer because I wanted to give the people a little bit more, uh, uh, how you call it, quality for their money. It's not like just telling them how you play Ace King or Aces. It's more like trying to get them to understand to have a better time on the poker table without having a headache. To start off and feel good. And that's what it's all about. I know this year, I know I was speaking to Daniel Negrano a little bit earlier. He was telling me that, you know, it's kind of got in the way the whole kind of business aspect of poker. And he's not been able to concentrate on his game this year. You've not had the best World Series. Uh, are you going to be focused for the main event? It's true what he said, but because I was so busy with other things to help, to set up, to direct them, to put them on the right game and trail, that it was distracting your game, especially when you get people and they're very nice to ask for autographs. You don't get a chance to get to the toilet or get a coffee. You hardly eat. There's a lot of pressure. So I'm not wondering that the good players who are become movie stars, they didn't perform that well because you lose a big edge, you cannot focus that good. But if it comes to the World Series, I try hard to stay in there and get to the first day or a couple of days and try to avoid a little bit like socializing because you have to focus to get there. And I need to focus because you got so many good players out there and one wrong move, that's you, then you walk out. Well, look, I know there's a lot of people out there, including me, hoping you go a step further this year because you had a money for this last year. You got deep last, uh, sorry, two years ago. This year, last year, you had a 10th position. You know, 
I hope you do really well this year, Marcel. It's, uh, it's grinding, it's coming close, and I smell a victory. But with six, 7,000 people playing, it's like, it's like a lucky shot in the beginning. If you get lucky cards and you can make some chips, you have a good chance to get your way up. Yeah. By the way, I want to announce I'm going to launch in the next two months at the same time the Circle of Outlaws. Yeah. I want the people to see and to be aware, yeah. the young kids, the good players, and I think it's something new. No, you've got you've got a really good uh, a really good bunch of guys that I know you're you're bringing on as your stable that are, are really really top top guys that are going to well, be good in the future. Yeah. They have all they have all different qualities. So when they learn from each other, you will get a bunch of top players out there who are very dangerous, very good. And uh, I like to work on it because it makes fun. It's fun, and uh, they're very decent guys i mean they play a lot they take their losers like men and they know how to behave and they're still going out having fun and they're there all the time so it's great to work with them yes okay. marcel i know you want to have a beer so i'll let you get back and party and uh, i would like to drink something now yeah. i go like oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> respect thank you